Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Destination Bourbon. I'm uh, Mike, and this is, who are you? I, I forget today, but I'm Carrie, I think. Queen Carrie? Oh, you're the Queen Carrie today. Yeah. All right. She's Queen Carrie today. Where are my servants? I need servants. I don't know. I think you've got plenty of servants out there. There's some somebody's already changed their name to Knight of the Syrup Table, so that's uh, that's got to be Something. for you. And boy, oh boy, is it going to be a sweet, sweet night? Sweet, sweet night. Mm -hmm. Knight of the Syrup Table, sweet night. Close. I like it. I like it. I'm actually going to be doing a flight tonight that is hopefully one of the easier flights. It's it's from Dustin Bellew, who's in chat. Dustin, thank you, sir. Um, but it's Booker's or not. I mean, I think I might be able to do something with Booker's or not, right? Like, it hey, is Richie. or it isn't. Hey, Slade. Oh, hail the queen. Jeez, oh, Pete. Here you go. You guys... I think I should be doing some knighting tonight. What does that mean? I'm going to knight some people tonight. Are you going to cut their heads off? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, Just don't I don't, piss me off. I don't think anybody here would trust you with a sword around their neck to knight somebody. Oh, I no. think so. I think so. Just just pray I don't sneeze. Well, you sneeze all the time. I do, but during the nighting. Just pray I don't sneeze. All right. That's what we say. We are the knights who say syrup. Yes, you, you might are. lose an ear if I sneeze. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to be doing, I got five samples here <laughs> that are bookers mm. or not. So all hail Queen Carrie. Mm, thank you, Maureen. You're the best. Maureen Franchi, I uh, love you to death. And your husband was such a gem. He tolerated my father. Oh, boy, did he tolerate my father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah he was, was a true, he was a true knight, actually, for tolerating my father. So maybe you should knight Gary Franchi first of all. I know, right? I'll hail Gary Franchi. What's up, Nick Bowles? Oh, Kerber. I got to take away that guy's wrench. I really got to take away oh, that guy's wrench. Daniel, you will be Sir Kerber. Bring me another shrubbery. <laughs> she has a shrubbery tonight. She has, she has a shrubbery. It's pokey. It's hurting my fingers. Caitlin Brubaker, how you doing? And brought SpongeBob in the house. <laughs> so yeah, we're happy to be back. Took a week off, uh, got some computer issues worked out, and now we are back and ripping, ready to go. Well, kind of. I'm sluggish today. Carrie's a little hungover. She, we, she had a party to go to last night. One of her friends' birthday parties, and you know, Carrie's limiter must have been a little bit off. She just kept going. And, well, they were playing the Bee Gees, and I just had to break it out. Did they actually ever play the Bee Gees? They did. Okay. I mean, I heard like all sorts of other music. I don't know no. that I ever heard the Bee Gees. They brought the Bee Gees out. Was it still playing in your head, or was it actually playing out loud? Probably both. <laughs> Probably a little bit of both. But I slept in literally until like 1 o'clock today. Yeah. He, he had to come check on me. I mean, I, I forgot that we lost an hour, so technically she slept in until like... 12 o'clock but it was still i thought no no it was one o'clock but you had lost and we lost an hour in the night so she didn't go to bed till like 2 30 instead no, of 1 30. we were home because they were like what are you leaving at 11 o'clock for we didn't leave at 11 o'clock what time we, leave? we left at like 12 30. Oh, so that's we still got early. home got around and everything got to bed about 1 30 which would have been 2 30 so that's why you slept a little longer well, maybe you shouldn't have fooled around what does that mean we would have been to bed earlier, and I could have been up earlier. Oh, Carrie. <laughs> I don't know. So who do we have? Oh, man. Look, we got Tommy D's in the house, the Kerbers in the house, Tommy Gilligan. What's up, Skipper? Uh, Slade, Shane Long, Brett Malquad, Richie Z, Roger D, Ben Elkhorn. Hey, Ben, I'm actually going to be in Minnesota this week. I'm, uh, I'm heading out there on uh, – um, St. Patty's Day. I'm going to be out, out to your neck of the woods. Whiskey Samurai, common sense. Is, this SNL is better than the original? Of course it is. Of course it is. Griff Howie, how you doing? Mr. Cigar Club himself. Mark Bond. Whiskey Encore. Nick Foles. Gary and Maureen Franchi. King and Queen of, of the Super Chats. Mike Franklin. Roy R. Does Things. A Knight of the Syrup and Table. Dave Markowski. All you guys, man. 
Oh my god, it's shooting. Oh shit. Well, we're back, everybody. <laughs> I hope you missed us for the week. Now that Carrie's <laughs> Carrie's back already. I'll tell you what. Well, Carrie, how is it possible you get prettier every single time I see you on live stream? Caitlin Aww, Brubaker. It's not you, possible. Caitlin. You're so sweet. Thank you. Well, that is one sugary syrup drink. That Sean you just said I needed me. to like get the stuff from the bottom and bring it up, so I did. I yeah, thinking. Yeah, whiskey knows they are in the house. New channel up and running. Absolutely, yeah. Go uh, make sure you're checking out whiskey knows on YouTube. Um, they got a new channel up. We need to get them some subs to get over there and check them out. Nice. Sugar Kitty, and it's a gusher. And Whiskey Nose, <laughs> new, pa new patron of Destination Bourbon. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Sherry G's in the house. Team Carry. Team Carry. All the way. I need to get some merch. Yeah, I yeah. do. Carrie needs some merch. You know, they need a coin that says Team Carry. Mike Meyer, you're in Minnesota too. Sweet. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, by, uh, uh, what is it? Is it uh, Long Lake, right? Just outside of uh, Minneapolis. So I'm going to mm. be there for a couple days this week. Will Zerk, what's up, Chris? Cheers all. Morning, Franchi. We've been knighted, king and queen. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Hello, Ooh. Mr. Zerk. Patrick Fulmer of the Kleins. What's up, Patrick? Good to see you, brother. Miss your smiling face. Thank you guys for all coming back to hang out with us after we took a hiatus for a week. See, Daniel's all for that. So a little bit of channel news before I jump into this uh, Booker's or Not flight from Mr. Dustin Bellew. Again, thank you, Dustin. Um, this Friday, um, yours truly is going to be on uh, ADHD Whiskey's uh, channel. Mr. Matt Porter, I believe... And I hope I'm not spoiling anything, but I believe we're going to be together live for that channel, for that for that broadcast. So it's always good when Matt and I are together in the same room, have a great time, and I'm really looking forward to that. Next, the following Sunday, uh, which would be what's today, the 13th, so it would be the or the 14th, so it would be the 21st. Um, the best half of. Um, the Bourbon Junkies, Mr. Sean Paisley, is going to be with me on Destination Bourbon here in the house. And we are going to be doing a whiskey war. And then we're going to follow it up on Tuesday on the Bourbon Junkies channel. Me and Sean again, head to head. So we got a couple of uh, cool things set up um, with, with the channel, some cross-channel stuff going on. So me and Mr. Porter and me and Mr. Paisley should be pretty good time. And Dave, you're right. Caitlin, you're right. Friday is going to be a good time. We're going to have a great time. So really looking forward to that. And uh, what's up, Trev? How you doing? You sexy beast. So I have a flight that I'm going to be kind of doing throughout the night while Carrie's doing her mixer as well. But Oh, I need a machete. It's over there. Where? Back on the, the back wall. On the floor by the humidor. Oh. Um, I said, do you have everything you need? And you're like, yep. I forgot about the machete. The machete. Oh, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be doing this. And I think Dustin, I mean, chime in, but the only thing it says on here is bookers or not. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm assuming that that's all I have to guess is whether or not it's uh bookers or not. So I, this, that's my kind of flight. I don't have to think about it. I just got to say, is this bookers? No. Is this bookers? Yep. Good to go. Way to stump them there, Dustin. Hey, I love it. <laughs> Slade's going Team Sean already. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, that's because I'm not on that one. Sugar Kitty, out of nowhere, I need the machete. Could be a long night. <laughs> Trust me. It's going to be. Well, oh, and I need your little knife. Where's uh, your little knife? Right here? No, not that one. The other one. This one? Yeah. Thank you. Is it bookers or rum? I don't know. I, I probably would do just as bad with that. This one smells uh, nutty. Yep, just can't decide if it is or it isn't. That's it. I like it. All right. I'm down with that. This one, smell that. Does that smell nutty to you? Like peanutty? 
My eyes are burning. I know it's it's got some proof to it. I'm yeah. sure all of these have proof to them, whether they're bookers or not, because that's why it's the only way he can try to stump me. Sugar Kitty, it's for the circumcision. Of who? Okay. It's going to be an interesting stream. <laughs> <laughs> Jen Ardolino. Cheers. That's Booker's. Oh, man. That is a peanutty gal, and it's got some burn. What do peanuts smell like? Oh, I said it's a peanutty taste. It's a peanutty gal. It's, it smells nutty. It smells a little like shell peanuts, and it's got that... that uh, it's got a lot of proof to it, and it's got the uh, that sh that shell peanut bite. And Will Zirk and um, Gary Franch, you know, we had some bookers uh, that they brought uh, to my house this week, and they brought lots of goodies. That's that. That's what I get is that shell peanut. Yeah, that's that. Oof. It was. You a want fun... me to grab the machete for you? Yeah. Would you please? Yeah. It was a fun few days that you had, Mr. Klein. I had a, I had a pretty good week. At the house decline. And and the the new and upcoming um bourbon room, smoke room coming together. Yeah. The garage mahal. Oh my god, that's heavy. Yeah, we're gonna we're in the process of trans uh transferring the room you see behind us into its own its own area. We're gonna we're gonna convert the garage to a cigar lounge. Uh, whiskey room, poker room, garage mahal. It's going to be pretty sweet. I'm going to design an amazing, fun room. Yeah, so right now <laughs> I'm saying A is bookers. I don't know. They're probably all bookers. <laughs> Ooh, this smells a little better. The garage mahal is a legendary name. Yes, actually, uh, AB Cigars Alec, as, as how you doing, my friend? He said that uh, his only ask is that I actually get a sign made that says "Welcome to the Garage Mahal" because I've been calling it that. So, mm -hmm. yes. And we're gonna have the coolest door. It's gonna be like the castle door. Yeah. yeah. Carrie wants to have one of those old wooden doors that have the metal, like open, and you look through. But it's gonna be the old medieval door too. Whoa. I think we should have a night, one of those, because one You're of my... You're a nights thing tonight. You're so going like, to night people. We should so have a night. We, should we put a moat around? One of my dealers uh, or suppliers has, uh, they sell the knights. So I'm going to buy the armor. The knights who say me. Yeah, whatever. Me. Me? Me. Is that from the Holy Grail? Yeah. Bah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well done, Care. Never would have thought you'd have pulled that one out. That's great. I feel a little slow today. Mashville, looking good, you two. Thanks for the talk earlier in the week. Meant the world to me. Love you both. Love you too, buddy. Man, I'm glad you're doing better. Wags, you're a good man. We love you. Ah, DC, thank you, man. Moat in the drawbridge. Why not? Yeah, I mean, we could have a I moat. I need a pool. A moat would be sweet. I'd rather have a moat than a pool. Because huh. a moat could be double as a lazy river. Well, I was going to say, we can do a lazy moat. Lazy rivers are great. I'd like it heated, though. <laughs> I'll need a shrubbery. I need another shrubbery. Oh, boy. Here he goes. Wait, get the cursor off the thing. I can't read. Oh, my gosh, Carrie. Oh, but, how, is it hard to say, hey, honey, could you please move that? No, that's, that's I an just. Effort. You're an effort. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, what? It's just but a scratch wound. Your oh. arm's off. No, it isn't. <laughs> Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> we will, Maureen. Thank you for that super chat. You're the best. I just can't wait. We went so Oh, a jacuzzi river, Brian says. Well, oh, that's even better. Oh my god. Man, that would it be better something. be really deep because that way I'm always just hot. Bobbing in. Yep. What? What? So I actually took Michael always bobbing. on a little experience. Uh, excursion on Saturday to show him some of the stuff that I'm going to be putting in his, I don't know, garage mahal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to explain stuff Ooh. to him that, because he's not a visual person. So. So B has proof, Dustin. Yeah. Hot bobbin. I know it's not the same thing. D doesn't have as much of that. 
peanut shell nuttiness as A does. And it's got a lot of uh, oiliness. It's a good, that's a nice mouthfeel. I'm going to have to. Oh, I think we should have a tiger. I have for to put it. that in the maybe category. We'll put this in front of B for the A is definitely Booker's. That's behind the uh, the sample bottle, so I know that I'm saying that's definitely Booker's. And I'm gonna move on to C while we're while we're talking. I think it's a dragon. Go Bucks! Come on, Ron. Ron, think, come on. I think we should Go have a tiger. Bucks. You must really love her to give her a knife that big. She loves the machete. What are you talking she's about? Gonna, she's going to chop the uh, pineapple, I think, with the machete tonight. I'm going to try to do something, hopefully not a finger. Monty Python quotes and how great Shawshank Redemption is. Sure <laughs> ways to make dudes get all excited. That is very true. That is super true, Whiskey Mountains. I cannot I cannot argue with that. The, Nick Promen wants to know, y'all try the Booker's 2101 yet? Uh, yeah, is, uh, I think, is that the, is that the pink one or the purple one or whatever? We just tried that, uh, what day were they here? Thursday? Just tried that Thursday. Andy Dufresne was a good man. It's my good friend. Andy Dufresne said, get busy living, or get busy dying. Oh, this got a nice nose on it too. These are all bookers. I'm going to be so mad because I tell everybody how I don't like bookers. Fills the nose. Finally got to Casa de Monte Cristo in Northwest Detroit. Filthy Hooligan is awesome. Uh, that's I'm glad you like that, Ron. That was a good cigar. You got another good cigar, Alec Bradley cigar down there too. All right, so this doesn't really smell like it either. Get busy dramming. That's right. Get busy drinking, kid. What are you? Are you gonna start making yours? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Are you that out of it tonight? Yeah, I've been like this all day. Well, I mean, you're pretty much like this every day. It's hard for me to tell. I mean, you're just kind of in and out, like maybe there, maybe not there. I don't really know. So I don't know. I just hear a bunch of smoke coming out right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, like, Sean Opperman came and visited us Friday oh, with book. his that's friend. Then he brought me Smooge. And it is so good. It doesn't even taste like a held, hard, held, not held, a hard seltzer, but smooge is the best. It's my new drink decor. Like I'm, this is my go-to now. Um, he only brought me the pina colada, which is fabulous. It actually has chunks of pina colada in it, like pineapple and stuff. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, so that inspired me. What's my favorite bourbon? What bourbon is Carrie's favorite? What is Queen Carrie's favorite bourbon? You're going to give him actually a chance to answer? I don't know. Nobody's answering. Well, it takes us. There's a lag, so you got to give him a second. Okay. But it, it, <laughs> this is true. It's better than Spooge. <laughs> I'll take Spooge. Spooge is better than Spooge. So, it's Spooge, if you want to sponsor me, I will talk you up every night. Gary Franchi's got it. Whiskey Mountains has it. What? You are right. Ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Howler head. So. Oh, Nick Foles has got it. I, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Stanley Wegg, he says Blanton's. <laughs> oh, yeah, Blanton. I, I'm never going to live the Blanton's down, am I? Never. Never. But yeah, I'm going to make a fun drink with Howler head. My other favorite, the chimp. Can you do a good monkey? <laughs> yeah. So. I'm going to make you know, a monkey's only use kind of laughing a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Th threw shit at you and he's laughing about it. <laughs> oh my God. We watched the funniest. Well, it wasn't Jackass. What was it? Uh, It was, uh, oh, Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh my God. We watched the funniest Ridiculousness where these kids were at the zoo. <laughs> and the monkey got pissed because the kids were staring at it. Went ape shit literally and threw shit at him. And the little girl was crying. Mom her, was laughing. Got her right there. She had a big chunk of poop that just ran right down her face. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so funny. And the mom was laughing her butt off. I'm like, that's exactly what Carrie would be doing. That's the exact <laughs> mom that Carrie. The kid's crying and Carrie's pointing the finger. Like, ah! <laughs> I'd be like, take a picture. Take a picture. Quick. Did oh, somebody yeah. get that on camera? <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I'd sell that shit. <laughs> Name like Smooge only further proved that marketing and branding is an arcane science. So <laughs> honestly, though, this stuff is really, it's good. really good. Um, it's got uh the um particulates like big chunks of pineapple. pineapple and coconut and stuff in it it's so good i don't know how they classify it as a seltzer it's more of a smoothie to me but it uh, is it's a it tasted really good it's a smoothie and it has five percent alcohol but it does not taste like a um a, a what is it seltzer seltzer i don't like seltzers whiskey is... nose says monkey went ape shit best line of the night <laughs> this is true pulp that's it cheech you guys you guys get us you know us Pulp got carry. It did. A little pulp fiction. <laughs> Except I won't stab you in the heart with a needle. I don't, I'm not putting that past you either. <laughs> Except, Ooh. yes, this is this is amazing. This, Try it. This smells really good. Only 37 likes. We should start banning people. That is true. And we're going to have to yeah. start kicking people out. Yeah. You try the ECB A1, ECBP A121 yet? Yes, Nick, I did. Tried it Friday with uh, Mr. Shook and. Um, <laughs> It's smooch. Yes, it's not spooch. It's smooch. Smooch. <laughs> Nothing. Um, I tried it with uh, Mr. Opperman and Mr. Shook, and it was delicious. It's it's actually one of the first A batches that I can really get down on. Like normally, I'm a I love the C's, um, but this is that was a great great pour. So. If you guys see the A121 out there, get it. Say, say a name, my queen. I will ban them. I'm trying to levitate this mango. I don't think it's going to work. The D is nice. It's funny. The D, the D is nice. Hmm. Well, the D is a little thin. Oh, that's peanutty, too. Ooh. Dustin, I think you might be trying to fool me with D. It's peanutty, but it doesn't have the 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 proof, the the hit like like Booker's. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna put that one as a maybe. Oh, you know what I? Said. I don't know. That's a weird one. That 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 might be like a like a Knob Creek. I bet you that. Oh, Laura, that's probably Booker's, though. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Whoa, that's a cool Glen, Glen Carn Frosted. Yeah, these are some Bourbon Junkies uh, Glens. Actually, I'm going to be coming out with a Destination Bourbon Frosted Glen as well. So, yeah, they are very cool. Very cool Glens. Ooh. Caitlin, you're tasting a hint of chocolate in what, dear? I didn't see what you said. Yes, please mash that like button. It helps with the uh, with the algorithms and whatnot and what have yous out there. So take a second to mash that like button. And while you're taking a second to mash that like button, take a minute to uh, subscribe to Whiskey Nose as well. New channel out there. Check out what they're doing. Kind of a cool play on, uh, you know, he knows whiskey and he noses whiskey. I, don't know, I kind of like the way it I like the way it flows. Well done. Chocolate cupcakes. Well, chocolate cupcakes do have a hint of chocolate in them. That you got it. So he he smells fruity. I don't I don't know, I don't know where you. If this one's Booker's, I'm gonna be shocked. It might smell sweet because of this uh, mango. No, it smells like cherry. It smells delicious. He smells delicious. Oh, shit. That's amazing. It's definitely not Booker's. If this is Booker's, I, I mean, everybody already knows I know zero things, but I really know zero things of E as Booker's. Oh, my gosh. This is delicious. Wow. It's got some It's got some proof to it, though. Whew. At the old uh, hugs getting me right there. It's, it's kind of cherry- um, little caramel. Ooh, this is, this is great. Ooh. So yeah, I think what you did. So now that I'm 
now that I'm tasting this and I'm trying to get into the head of Dustin Bellew, I've got two that I know for sure are bookers and two that I think maybe are bookers. I'm wondering if you sent me four bookers and then one something incredible that you know I'm going to like and just say, hey, I'm sorry for sending you four bookers. Is that, is that what you're doing to me? Or am I overthinking it too much? All I know is I don't want to get out of E. Holy crap, Carrie, that worked. What? Her using the glass for the mango. Is that, is that what you said worked? Five bucks for Carrie to show me how to peel a mango. Yep. Yeah, that's how you do it. You use a glass and then see? It comes it comes right out. You peel the mango with a glass. Yep. Everybody's want, impressed. Let me do that again. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, this is so good. The pit is still in it. So talk a little bit about your uh what you're making. You've got this, you've got the smooge. I got the smooge. Smoogey. Smooge. Smooge. Um, you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What? It's winter here. We don't have ants. Wait, I'm confused. Is that another line to yeah. a movie? Brasher oh. says it's perfect. What are you doing there? So the, right now I'm taking the, the seed out. She's taking the seed out. Removing the seed. <laughs> I'm removing your seed. <laughs> There it is. Another day that ends in Y. <laughs> that made me a little nervous, Mike Franklin said. Just what? a little bit. What? I don't know. You cutting into your, my seat, I guess. <laughs> Be afraid. No jokes. Okay. So I just took I just took the, the seat out. So here is the mango. And then you just put it in. Yeah, yeah. Try to get a nice lip on it. And then once you get the lip, you apply a lot of pressure. And there she goes. It works better if you just have it on the table. But I know you guys can't see this very well. And the mango is all gone. So full tilt bougie bourbon bunker says snort. Everyone drink. <laughs> so apparently there's a, I, I like this game. I like the, uh, the carry snorts you drink game. I snort a lot just in case any of you haven't taken notice. Yeah. I will let you know when the, uh, frosted destination bourbon glens are available. It will be soon. And the queen carry coins. Richie Z said, wow, perfect peel. Perfect peel. And, I mean, it makes, so uh, if you're staring at your mangoes so as they're, like, getting overripe because it's such a chore or it was a chore, now you won't. You're going to go, oh, my God, I can cut this down in lickety-split time. Like, I can seriously have a mango diced and ready to rip and roar in less than two minutes. Just like that. And down the hatch. Dustin, or uh, Ryan Tarpey, glad to have you back. Glad you're back. Welcome back, Cotter. Oh, boy. Okay, so now now that I'm coming off of E, coming back to D, that smells really nice. It's just like a hint of, of peanut butter. This is sweet, too, and it's not so, not so proofy. Just poured a glen of Pandemic Special. Nice. Thank you, Ben A. I don't know if you heard me, but I am going to be in Minnesota this week, so... Uh, I'll reach out to to you while I'm when I'm there. Destination two minute mango. <laughs> there we go. Well, I'm glad you're back, Ryan. Oh man. Oh my god. This is like so easy. Oi! Oh, about broke my dish. Jesus. Fuck. Oh. Balls. You gotta put this somewhere. Carrie, this is a, a, a YouTube set, not a kitchen. I know you're finding it hard to believe. Brought a whole. It would have made more sense to cut. Oh my god, you want to cut a pineapple? Amazing. Get a machete. Holy shit. That is so awesome. If you wanna, if you wanna cut a pineapple, get a machete. 
Let me tell you. Time to go buy another table. I know, Mark. That's what I was thinking. This is a glass tabletop. And when I that hit, I was like. Board, and it hit my bowl. Carrie, watch your fingers, damn it. <laughs> okay. You Next can... segment, tourniquet time. <laughs> right? Well, the good thing is, is that the um, the hospital isn't too far from here. So Whiskey I Mountain says, what do you think we use machetes for? Definitely for cutting pineapple. Absolutely. And sugar cane. Mm-hmm. And watermelon. That's a really tough rhyme, you know? Would you cut a pineapple like this? Get a Ginsu machete. <laughs> so you... I'm praying for my safety, too, Maureen. So let me just... Like, I'm, I'm dead. I'm a dead man. Let me just say, you wait until summer because, man, that machete has just upped the level of the my cocktail mixers. Oh, at some point, we're going to do it outside, and I'm going all Fruit Ninja. Oh, yeah. And it's I'll be, be out. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Like, the neighbors are going to love it. <laughs> we're still working on the Destination Bourbon machete, too. Please just buy some pineapple juice. <laughs> no, I don't need the juice. I need the fruit. See, that's it, Trev. I mean, how many times have uh, how many times have you sat around your house and wondered, how do I cut this damn pineapple? I am sick and tired of not cutting my pineapples. Introduce the destination bourbon machete. There Problem you go. solved. Watcha! You wanna up the time of making your mixers? Get a destination bourbon machete. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. There it slices, go. it dices. It removes appendages. <laughs> just wait until summer when that life insurance starts. Yeah, we just got to kick it in. The outside Gallagher stream. Oh, that'd be mm. sweet. That's what we should do. Who wants to sit in our crowd? <laughs> Ernie Brubaker losing it because he was doing well until the machete appeared. You hear the tremble in Michael's voice? It scared me. It scared me. Does a produce man need to show you how to cut the pineapple? Ryan Tarpey says. I'm working with a sharp knife and I'm trying not to lose my finger. I am the biggest klutz. Michael can attest to this. And he's actually more afraid of me bleeding to death than he is of this knife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, DC. Thank you for that. One of a kind pottery and interior designs by Queen Carrie. Check Aww. out designsbydolchesa.com. Well, thank you. You are oh hey in my book, DC. Cheers. Daniel Carter. Daniel Carter, the man, the myth, the legend. When are we going to have him at our Mahaj or Garage Mahal? Well, he's a little farther away, but he's welcome. Oh, yeah, anytime. he's in California, isn't he? No. Where is he? I um, don't know that he wants us to tell everybody where he is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How far are you? <laughs> He's uh, a solid distance away. He was uh, close to one of the places that I was at in the last couple of weeks. Okay, I'm going to go clean up my mess to get this. Brew. Keep her well-insured, Clint. I have to. I have to keep her well-insured. You're, you're leaving the stream just, now? Clean just stuff for a up? second, because... Here, will you hand me that? What, the pineapple top? Yeah, careful, it's sharp. That is perfect. If you have to pull your keys out to unlock the door, you need a destination bourbon machete. <laughs> no, Nick, you didn't miss the drink yet. You just missed a whole lot of slicing and dicing and things that just aren't even bingo, bingo. aren't even done yet. So she hasn't even poured the drink. And, and I'm back into D, and D is throwing me way off. Um, I had it as a maybe Booker's, and now coming off of E. Well, now it's got that peanutty. So I'm going to say that that one is also Booker's. C, I know it's for sure bookers. Now I'm going back to B. The bourbon wrench is right beside your shrubbery. Oh, see, this one, B has got me fooled. I'll be back with this. Hey, it, you know, this is, Carrie comes and goes, and, uh... Does anybody know how, like, syrupy pineapple juice gets? Are you kidding me? You'll be wearing it in bed. Does anybody have any idea how pineapple-y pineapple juice can be? It's really pineapple -y. Syrupy. And syrupy. I don't have a stage crew. You hear how quiet it is? Isn't it nice? It's just, it's just us. I miss you guys all so much. It's just us. We're just here having a good time. No one's yelling. No one's telling me I did something wrong. No one's cutting any fingers off. 
We're drinking some bourbon, enjoying life, and it's just about to be over. So thank you guys. I love you. Thanks for spending that one moment with me. It means a lot. <sighs> now she's standing on the stairs going, I think I heard you. I think I heard you. That was rude. I'm just teasing. So rude. Cheers, Andrew. So yeah. peaceful, machete-free environment for 30 seconds. And I had you on the edges of your seats. <laughs> Is she going to cut a finger? Is she going to accidentally slip and hit Michael? It could happen. Daily affirmations with Klein. That's what that was. Philosophy. Yep. Carrie is forever the Michigan queen of bourbon. That is true. Ah, oh, Don. Damn it, Klein. Respect our queen. I respect your queen. Oh, I love it when you guys talk like that of me. I've missed it, so you should hear how he talks to me. <laughs> oh. It was, JG. It was a lot like what it was. That was, that was my cry for help. I had 30 seconds. That was it. You guys didn't help me in time. Oy. Oh, God. I don't know about this. Yep, that was my Stuart Smalley. Absolutely. Go ahead and make your cocktail. I got to think about this one. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm confused on B and D. I got I to gotta figure that out. Oy. Get your limited edition Destination Bourbon Machete with matching tourniquet for the top tier oh, Patreon yes. members only. We need to get like the Ace bandages. Team, you know, Destination Bourbon or Team Carry bandages. I'll tell you what, if anybody signs up for the uh, top tier patron member tonight, I will make sure that I send you a, uh, a machete. I know. New, new, uh, new giveaway for top tier Patreon members. I'll send you a machete. Let's do Carry Band-Aids. Team Carry, Queen Carry Band-Aids. <laughs> Queen Carry Band-Aids? Yeah. Get your like tourniquets would probably be make more sense. No, but everyone, people cut their fingers. And they can put me on their wound. I'll kiss it. I'll kiss your boo boo. Oh boy, that's what everyone wants. <laughs> <laughs> so what do what do we got? We got you got fruit in there, and you got mango and pineapple mm -hmm. and cherries. Now is this a real thing or is this something you're making up as? Just cherries concoction. Have you tried it? Nope. All right. So it sounds, Carrie, you say way worse stuff. I've heard of it. That is so true, Alec. So true. <laughs> this is so true. So you've got banana, banana flavored bourbon. Yep. Or ban yep. I'm going to put like one and a half ounce. Banana flavored whiskey's going in there. Yep. With mangoes. So bananas, mangoes, pineapples, cherries. And, head. and pina colada smoothie. Yep. All right. Wow, this is going to be this. Well, if you guys don't know already, this is Carrie's thing, man. Diabetes in a glass is that's what she likes. That's what you guys are going to get tonight. Limited oh. edition destination bourbon leather gloves with prosthetic fingers already included. I forgot the the nanner. <laughs> oh, there's a real nanner. All real right. Real nanner. Forgot the blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put a little blood in there. <laughs> yeah. It, right. We'll call it cherry juice. Yeah, we'll pretend it's Halloween. <laughs> oh boy! I want my bananas cut thick for presents. <laughs> <laughs> so, why forget me when those little barrels to age your own spirits in? Other than oh, finding nice. some white dogs, do you have any ideas of what to put in there? Um, yes. Like mellow corn or something that you may not really like or a, that is a younger uh, whiskey or bourbon, then, yeah, you can put that in there and allow it to age a little more, get a little more oaky. Um, I know uh, Dan and Sean did some mellow corn in one of their glasses with the added staves to it, and I'll be damned if it didn't taste good. So, yeah, you might be able to do something like that. You can't just get this content anywhere. That is true, Jacob. Yeah, we got some. Oh shit! You guys get to watch it all happen like live here. Like, 
Carrie's struggles are completely real. <laughs> so. so you've got howler head and then you just added a skewer. fruit skewer to your fruit to your skewer. Drink. And we're gonna add some smooch. Didn't you already open one? I know, but I want to drink that one too. <laughs> this this concoction might not be good, so she's saving the other one to drink just in case. That's oh. that's actually brilliant. And here's just for a spoonful of sugar. Mmm. <laughs> so syrup. Shane, nobody knows, man. Mmm. It's a it's a drink, a snack, and diabetes. That's Where's what my it lid? is. Oh, look at the nice head it made on this drink. Look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is one hell of a cocktail. So, this is purely just for tropicalness. Oh, shit. So. 40 minutes in, cocktail still in progress. Hey, this is your queen night of the syrupy table. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Try that, love. I, I'm trying, I, you know, I'm drinking high proof bookers and you want me to. I'm getting ready for our trip to Florida. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. That is really sweet. No, it's not. Yep. No, nope, my banana is sweet. That's why I just ate it. That is, that is straight bananas. Wow, it's so good. Oh. So, so, so good. I swear. So you people who like fruity things, that's good. And you know what? You could, either, actu you could actually toss it in a blender. And you could have like a bourbon um, margarita or daiquiri. Yeah, I mean, if you like like really sweet things. It's not that sweet. He doesn't like chocolate, people. Don't listen really, to him. really, really sweet. Do never believe do never. anything. Do never. Do mm -hmm. never. Do not ever believe someone that doesn't like chocolate. <sighs> no, you know what? There's so much acid in the pineapple and the mango. And the pineapple um, seltzer it definitely does not need any more C salsa? Ci citrus. The salsa? But, but, but if you wanted to... Oh, I, got, I'm I, not think, sure. I think you need to pour more howler head in that. But if you wanted, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, she loves those though, Alec. We have plastic straws. She loves the that gold reusable because mm -hmm. it's cause it's gold and it's pretty. I know. She likes pretty things. I wish I had, could have a golden toilet. Solid point. Can't trust a chocolate hater. I don't hate chocolate. Yes, he does. I do not. I he eat does. chocolate. I eat chocolate all the time. Hardly ever. Chocolate is not my go-to. Like, I am not a sweet. If I'm going to have a, uh, something that I want, like for, you know, just to go munch on, I'm not going to go to chocolate or go to candy. I will eat, like, bag of potato chips or pretzels or something like that. That's, like, but, my go-to. But, Cheech, definitely boozy smoothie. I like that. Boozy smoothie. Just don't say it too fast. You might. Ever try High West Whiskey? And that looks okay, Carrie. <laughs> Try High West whiskey all the time, buddy. We have some. Got a whole bunch of it behind yep. me. Yep. yep. Right behind my head, right there. The whole top shelf. And thank you, Dead Chipmunk. It is tasty. It is absolutely tasty. And you know does the... Carrie ever go to bed after these sugary drinks? I do. I, I clunk it. She does. I don't know how. Can you peel a pineapple with a glass? I'm sure, but I would recommend doing it with um gloves because it has all those little pickers. I actually do like chocolate covered potato chips. Mm -hmm. Those are delicious. They're not my go-to, but I'll eat it because you know I love chocolate. Caitlin Brubaker, you you know where I live, my dear. I will definitely eat one of your cupcakes. I would. Love... Why don't you bring your cupcakes here and you can go on live with us? Yeah, why don't you and, uh, and, and you we'll, and Ernie come visit? And we will pair bourbons to your cupcakes. Oh, there we go. So make some interesting flavors. Don't I'm I'm not talking to Alec the rest of the night. What did he say? Don't don't even read it. Don't even read it. <laughs> ah, tater. Is that what he said? No, he said potato. See, Carrie oh. doesn't even get the joke, so I don't have to worry about it. Best snack with bourbon is caramel and cheddar popcorn mix. That is true. Caramel popcorn and, uh, and bourbon is great. And I love that cheddar. The Chicago Chicago mix, best. Great live, Mike and Carrie. Carrie loved the cactus. Thanks, Richie Thank Z. Thank you. You're so sweet. Oh, snort. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, he was saying I snorted and yeah. I just snorted it again. So that was a double. That's two drinks. Yeah. See how wasted you can get. Okay. So oh, definitely do a peanut butter one so I can have that birthday. What was that? That birthday bourbon? That was so. Oh, no. no larceny. larceny. Oh, my God. It was so good with peanut butter. Hi, Julie. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, man. I well, cannot Jen, figure out B. Come on on. Because she makes delicious cookies too. We so, could have a bake fest. This is what I think. This is where I'm at with this flight, Dustin. I think that B is a knob creek and you're trying to screw with me. I'm trying to throw one by because I think that B, although it's got such a finish. Oh, man. Uh, Dalamore is okay. Not a big fan of Old Tub. Too too much of that peanut shell stuff. Don't like. All right. So, bookers or not? I'm going to say A, bookers. B, not. C, bookers. D, bookers. E, not. Okay. Okay? So, we're going to see. Don't, I hope you... Oh, I love molasses cookies, sugar kitty. I have the best recipe for sugar or molasses cookies. I almost said sugar cookies. Oh, look, at, <laughs> look how cute these are. They're like little sealed strips. He put an effort into he did. those. Man. And he, each one of the samples were individually shrink wrapped and sealed. Because like, he didn't want any tampering going on. No. A. Booker's. Sip a while. Uh, 2017 04, 64.05%. So A is Booker's. I said it was Booker's. B. Booker's. You said. Damn it. Not. I said I thought it might be a Knob Creek. This is a good Booker's. B. Uh, the Center Cut. 2015-03. 63.6%. I'm not a Booker's fan. I think B is pretty good. Cheech, I'll bring Jen to see you, Carrie, and Jen can bake while I drink your whiskey. Okay. I like the sound of that, Cheech. You, you are in. So, <clears throat> Jen can bake the cupcakes and I'll stuff the cupcakes. I like it. So, C, Booker's Big Man Small Batch, 64.35%, 2015-01. So, so far, they've all been Booker's. I said C was Booker's. I said A was Booker's. I was off on D. So, Roy, D. or where, where was it? Oh, Cameron, it is a store pick, Larceny, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> D, D is Knob Creek, single barrel, 14-year bourbon enthusiast pick. I was, was on the fence with the, it, the I, mach- knew, I knew you. Threw a knob creek in there to screw me up. I'm to blame. I brought out the machete and it had him quaking. In E. Oh, yes. Wow. E is fall of 2015 batch five stag junior. 129.7. E is absolutely the bell of the ball. Thank you so much. That is great. I have not had a batch five. So awesome. Thank you, Dustin. Um, Wow. was... I was three for three for five on the bookers or not. I I guess that uh, A and C were bookers and E was not, and those were right. But I guess B was not bookers and it was, and D was bookers and it wasn't. So, uh, well done, man. That was that was a pretty fun flight. It, that not it, I'm actually surprised at how close that Knob Creek was. To the bookers and that that be um the center cut 2015-03. That's a really good um oily bookers, man. That's that was cool, man. Thank you for, for sending that to me. I actually you made me find a bookers that I like. So cheers to you, my friend. I appreciate that. Hmm. Jen Arlino says she's in, so got some cupcake baking and drinking. Either awesome. you guys can come to Michigan this summer or we'll come visit you in the winter. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> Either way, you guys can get out of your sweltering heat and we can get out of our blizzard winters. I did say I thought D could be a knob creek. Yes, but then I I switched and then went back to B, Cameron. So I, I outthought myself again. Can't tell you. I mean, if you go back and look at how many times I've done this, I outthink myself. I should have went with my first gut, first way through. But I didn't. I changed it. But it's okay. It's all right. I'm 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 learning from my own mistakes. I'll be better. I'll be better for all of you. Until I get my ass kicked by ADHD whiskey on Friday with whatever DC sends us. Are you happy with... Are you happy, Stanford? Oh, uh, Stafford. Uh, yes, I am happy that Stafford got traded. Not because I'm a Lions fan, but because I'm a Stafford fan. And I think that'll be great for, for Stafford. Um, and thank you. We love you, too. Dustin Bellow, thank you, man. Good job, bud. Glad you had fun and enjoyed a few of them. Center Cut is my favorite bookers as well. Cheers. Yeah, this is this is really good. And uh, I I have I openly admit, and the reason you sent me the, the Booker's flight, Booker's or not, is because I've said many times I'm not a Booker's fan. Uh, I think it's overpriced and everything else, but this is good. Did you see what Cheech said? He goes, he was thinking the same thing. We'll see you in August, and you can come down next January. That sounds Deal. perfect. Yep. Deal. Hey, Dan Like. Good to see you. Yeah, I thought uh, he said AB Cigars, Alec Y. I think, uh, is, is this is this where you're getting your teeth whitened, buddy, and you can't smoke? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. But he can have bourbon, right? Yeah, I he think so. He just can't have wine and coffee. Right. Can't smoke. Mm-mm. Mm, that is really good, man. That that Booker's. If you guys could get your hands on some center cut Booker's, and God, if you ever find Batch 5 Stag Jr., that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, so you're, you're, are you a fan of that cocktail, really? Mm -hmm. Is that something you would drink, like, sitting out? Oh, sorry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not, a like, an everyday cocktail thing, right? Mm, I mean, that's... Maybe in the summer. Really? Mm-hmm. Says the Blanton's tater man. Listen, Stanley, I'm not a Blanton. I'm not even going to defend it. I'm not. Um, I'm not. I'm not fighting the fight anymore. Nope. Mister Like, I hope you're doing well, my friend. Damn, I really like that. How Whiskey like... nose says that damn straw is dangerous. Mm. What? 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 Your straw is dangerous. You probably hit yourself in the face with it a few times. Probably. I. <laughs> It's like one of those, it's all over my chin and then in my mouth. <laughs> I, I, I retract that statement. Nope, you can't retract that statement. I heard it. Everyone heard it. That's not a retractable statement. Just so you know. I'm off my game. I'm hungover, okay? Be thankful I did my, and, and I taught you a trick today, people. I she taught did. you a trick. So many jokes, I know. So many jokes. Is Blanton's Buffalo Trace or Eagle Rare the best? You know what, buddy? Um, it's it just depends on the the uh, bottle that you get. Um, I think on average, um, I like Blanton's better of those three. But uh, there's some damn good Eagle Rares out there, man. And I and I love, I, I love Eagle Rare. So I mean, in order to I would put Buffalo Trace definitely third out of both of those. From PG-13 to NC-17 in a flash. That's Carrie. When does it become triple X? Mike, you still looking for a Stag 15? Yes, Dave, I am. And I have not heard from Jason about that yet. So, um, yes, I am still looking for a Stag 15, Stag Junior 15. Because right now I'm living in the nose of this Stag Junior Patch 5. It's so good. So living good. in the nose. Oh, smell that. It actually smells really good with the bananas. It smells in my really mouth. good, period. I just got squirted. <laughs> I don't know how. I think my my straw. <laughs> Destination. Welcome to Destination Bourbon After Dark. <laughs> no, like it's that something like I think it just like came out of my straw. Oh. Here, let me smell it. Just keeps on coming. <laughs> oh yeah. Isn't that delicious. Or should I go, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
have to move to a different platform for triple X carry. I, you know, she's, she's really hard to, uh, to keep under control. That is for sure. Mm-hmm. So those of you that uh, weren't here at the beginning when we were chatting about uh, some upcoming channel stuff, this Friday, the world's top whiskey taster himself, Matthew Porter, and I will be streaming together um, live in the same room, getting slammered, doing a blind from DC himself. So we don't know if it's going to be shitter or hitter flight, but... <laughs> We'll figure it out and we'll go from there. Then on a week from today, uh, Dr. Dr. Sean Paisley and myself will be on my channel doing a blind flight. And then the following Tuesday, the same two of us will be on the Bourbon Junkies channel doing a flight. Um, be first full circle. The Whiskey Sav Not uh, is going to be on vacation. Have not. So it is going to, it is up to Dr. Paisley and I to hold down the fort. So hopefully you guys all join us on the back to back nights, my, uh, destination bourbon and, um, bourbon junkies. And I hope you tune into ADHD whiskey and watch the debauchery and fun that Mr. Porter and I are going to have. We're not wrapping it yet. Are we? It's we almost have a 10 few o'clock more minutes. I'm not done with my drink. Carrie's not done with her drink. So I guess, uh, what, what would you like to talk about? Since, since you prepare so much for all of these streams with all the content that you have, uh, what, what would you like to talk about? We can't wrap it up yet. Michael, keep talking. Okay. I just want to sit here and drink. So wait. does anyone, does knowing how to cook meth make you a doctor? Yes. That's why he's Dr. Sean Paisley. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, um, let's do whiskey history drunk whiskey history so any of you out there you have something good for us to teach us <laughs> come on throw it at us and not anything that i've already talked about whiskey knows mike do you know what you're sampling then trying to guess yeah no we i don't know uh, uh for matt and i i don't know what's going on uh dc sending us something we don't know what it is um, and then with Sean and I, we are, we're still trying to determine a theme, what we're going to be doing. So not really sure. Team Klein. Woohoo. Thank you. Wait. I sent you a whole PowerPoint. Oh, you did. She did. Oh God. I'm sorry, Caitlin. I am so like out of my sorts. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caitlin. I am going to. Don Holland has a great question for you. For who? For you, Carrie. I saw several bottles of Bland. Should I get a few for the golf bag fund? Seventy bucks. Is seventy dollars a good deal for Blanton's? That is a good. Would deal. you pay seventy? Yeah. What would you pay up to for a bottle of Blanton's? Fuck you. Wow, that's uh, that seems like a lot. Whew. I had an oatmeal cream pie stout earlier blew my mind. Uh, I agree with you, man. But Don, oh. grab that bottle for 70 bucks. That's a deal. Alec, that's okay. You can do that. Um, we're doing we're doing one night at my house and one night at Sean's. So um, or at the the hut. So I don't know if you want to send for both or if you just want to send for one. But yes, I will take you up on that. That would be great. Richie Z. Oh no, at Whiskey Mountain says Michigan allow that type of marriage. What kind of marriage are we talking about? I don't know. I didn't see. What... I didn't either. Damn, we missed it. Huh? Oh, oh. no, they said is uh, he married to Brad Paisley. I heard mm. somebody say is Sean married to Brad Paisley. That must be it. And somebody just made a rip on my ocean. Two hundred fifty dollars for blends, only if it's from Atlanta. That's your boy, Daniel Kerber. See, he's an equal opportunity asshole. You got to love Daniel Kerber. <laughs> but I know that he loves me. So I will. Hey, you know what? I just was so happy for you. I know. you. And were. if me being happy for you means I'll get ripped on for the rest of my breathing life here on Earth, then I'll take it. Here we go. Now you guys have gotten introduced to another Carrie, Martyr Carrie. <laughs> Uh, she comes out every once in a while. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it all for you. Oh, yeah. The old Three Musketeers song. 
Yep. All for one. Yep. All for love. That's Brian Adams, baby. Brian Adams. Sure it is. He always sings the best songs. You guys have flights set for that night. If not, I'll have the DWS single barrel flight for you that Tuesday, Ron. Ooh. Detroit Whiskey Society. Um, well, Alec just said that he can send both, but if Alec wants to send one and you want to do the Detroit Whiskey Single Barrel flight for Sean and I, we could do that too. We'll talk. You you guys will talk off offline and figure that out. No, I think you should talk live so everyone can hear you. Oh, carry, carry, carry. Well, thank you guys. We love you. We're glad that we're back. We're glad that uh, the whatever this is called, computer is all fixed and back to running. I also have a couple other channel news, but I should not say it because I don't think you guys are going to believe me even if I say it. But, but. Do I know? I'm probably releasing some content this week. That's not a live stream. So uh, be prepared. You guys might actually get to watch. Are uh, you feeling okay? Watch some videos. Going back to the uh, should you buy it or not um, idea. So I've got a couple of videos that I'm going to be putting out for should you buy it or not. Yes, I know. I waited to the end to see if anybody was actually still here to hear me say it. They were. But, yep. You got I know. fans. You got fans, babe. <laughs> I don't believe it. No, what? No, come on. I'm I'm telling you, that's true. Richie Z, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys, honestly, we love you. Dustin, thank you so much um, I, for, for two things. One, for being just a bang-up, incredible dude and sending a flight to me. So cool. Thank you so much. Bang but up. even more so, helping to introduce me to a Booker's that, that I loves. actually enjoy. The, so, yeah, not love. Yeah, but I just, enjoy it. Just enjoy. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Your show is so short. It's easy to stay to the end. Look at well, Ryan Darby says he can't even I, wait I appreciate for the content. That. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mike. Mike Franklin. Thanks, Dan. Like. Thanks, Ryan Tarpy. Thank you guys all for being the best part. When is no days. But you know what? No days. What's a no taste? Night in Italian. Oh, yeah. Oh, so it's Italian. I thought you were going like some other thing in there. Oh, equal opportunity asshole. That's right, Daniel. So you're the equal opportunity asshole, and uh, Alec Rubin just wants to watch the world burn. He does. With that being said, and, and I'm sitting in the front row right with him. We love you all. Good night, everybody. And we will see you. I will see you on Friday with Sir Matthew Porter. Have a great week. Bye bye. Peace.